Hanrahan live in Guilford, where she went to school with Ryan Hanrahan. Right. That's, that's right, Jerry. Sarah Trowbridge graduated from Guilford High School in 2001. Believe it or not, she didn't start rowing until her senior year in high school, and she was still able to earn a scholarship in rowing to the University of Michigan. This morning, she and her partner, Margo Shumway, were able to advance to the final on Friday for women's double skulls. Here in town, people are buzzing about the hometown girl competing for gold in London. At the library, a small display with pictures and a newspaper article were set up on and on the green. Many people from town were excited to cheer on a Guilford High School alum. I think it's great. Um, it's it's always uh, adds another element to the Olympics to have somebody that is a hometown person gives you somebody else to cheer for. Yeah, it's really exciting. So, you know, we see a lot of people from other parts of the world, you know, in uh, other parts of the country, but it's great to have somebody local. We're very proud of her. Um, we are um, unbelievably excited, and we hope that she can get something, at least, you know, silver. Now, her parents and her brother Alex are in London cheering her on, and you can bet many here in Guilford will be doing the same on Friday. Jerry? Hi, Ryan. We spoke on Skype with Sarah earlier today. How did she say she's preparing for the race? Well, she says all the physical work is done at this point. She's been training for years. Right now, it's all mental. She says her and her partner have incredible chemistry and a real competitive spark, and that will help them in the fact that they really believe in one another. She did say that from here on out, all the fun is still ahead now that she has advanced to the final medal round. We're live in Guilford, outside of my old alma mater. I'm Ryan Hanrahan, NBC Connecticut News. Back to you. Ryan Hanrahan at his old stomping grounds. Several other local Olympians will